Welcome to The Wine Reviewer, my name is Will, where I do tech unboxing, tech reviews, and tech tutorials. And today's episode is a tutorial on how to put a generic gamepad um, by adding some drivers and emulating the Xbox 360 controller to use it on your PC. And in this case specifically, I'm using it too for, for Fortnite. Uh, there's a big battle between Epic and uh, Apple, and unfortunately that means we can't log into our account for Fortnite on iOS platforms and so we made a transition to from using the iPad to a PC. Uh, it was actually for my wife and she wanted to know if there was a way to use a controller instead of using the mouse and keyboard and how to play Fortnite. Uh, for myself personally I use a mouse and keyboard uh, but she wanted to try using a gamepad and so this tutorial We'll show you how I use a generic gamepad. This is a, a generic Snakebite PS4 controller, uh, USB wired. And I'm gonna show you how, uh, by installing a few software and an emulator, that you can use this game controller on Fortnite. And this actually works for uh, PS4, a uh, normal PS4 remote as well. So, all right. If you found this video helpful, please remember to give a thumbs up, like the video, and consider subscribing to my channel for similar content. Okay, there's two files that you have to download. I'll leave in a link in the description below and I'll tell you which files to actually download. So here I already downloaded on my download folder. Um, the first thing you have to do is extract it all. So extract all the folders. So the joystick folder and the X output folder. I'm gonna go into the joystick folder and just open it up. Double-click joystick, and there's a folder called install first, select that. And then you're just gonna install them in order from top to bottom. So the first one you're gonna install is a universal joystick driver. I'm gonna double-click on that and get that started. Here it's your setup, next. Finished. And the next one is the VIGEM bus setup, so double-click on that. I'm gonna click install. As you can see, it's installed very quickly. And the next one is the Xbox 360 emulator. So I'm just gonna double click on that. Um, so I'm just gonna click next. And it's done, it's really quick. And now what you have to do is you have to restart your computer. So ignore the outdated X output and just restart your computer. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the X output folder. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a desktop icon for it. So I'm gonna create a shortcut for it. It's because I found that every time you start, you want to use the gamepad, you have to double click on this application. You have to actually manually start it. So just having an icon on desktop helps get it started right away without having to dig through your folder. So I'm gonna double click it. And now I'm gonna plug in my gamepad, which is my Snakebite third-party uh, gamepad here. And then you hear the USB bump, set up device, and you can see it's right there. So I'm gonna click add controller. Right. so after you add the controller, click edit. You have to edit, this is where you do the mapping. So you scroll down and hit configure all. And it's gonna give you a diagram of what buttons to press. So here is a speed up version of me mapping all the buttons of the Snakebite gamepad to, um, to an Xbox controller. So it's, here I am just mapping it through. So you do my best to kind of follow the arrows and press the button as they highlight it. And then once it's all done, you want to close out the mapping. So I'm going to close the window. 
And the very important thing is to hit save configuration. This actually saves the mapping itself. If you don't do it, it's not gonna work. So I hit save configuration. You can see it says save successfully, settings to JSON file. And now to activate the gamepad, you have to click start. So now I start the gamepad and the mapping. Now that everything's installed on the computer, I'm gonna show you how to actually start it and set it up. Hit play. And B close. And then I'm gonna hit the start button. And that'll take you to your settings. I'm just gonna scroll over. Settings, and then here is where you can the so at the top of your left, that left uh, right button, and we hit right button to see the controllers. And then here you can set. For instance, I'm gonna just turn on the volume here. So here you can do uh, custom controls. Um, and you can kind of change how you want it set. So this is how I've set it up. I've done. You know, left toggle is down sight. LB here is previous weapons. And um, that's how you get sorted out. Oh, the buttons are reversed. I need to fix the, I need to fix it. It's reversed. This is if I go down, it goes up. Yeah, now it's kind of messing me up. Oh, well, that's not good. Yeah, the buttons are, it's all messed up. Oh. Okay, so obviously this is not working correctly, so I'm gonna leave match. I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna fix my controller. It's for some reason when I, it's, it's inverted. So I'm gonna shut this down, confirm. I'm gonna go back to X output. I'm gonna stop the emulator. And I'm going to click edit. And I am going to change the inversion. So right now, if I look, so right now if I look down, it's going up. And you can see from here, see the RX, RY? So if I'm hitting down, it's going up. When I get down, it's up, it's going down. So that's inverted. So I think that's R, Y. I'm gonna hit invert. So now when I go up, it's down. So it's right, when I hit up, it's up. When I hit down, it's down. You can see it from, if you look at the box here, you can see the toggle up, down, up, down. And all I did was hit the invert. Um, and now it's range 100 to 1, so it should be all right. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna X this out. I'm gonna hit save configuration. If I go down, it's successfully saved. I'm gonna start it up again. Hit close. Okay, as it's loading, as you, as it's loading in the lobby right now, I did make the changes, as you saw, uh, I'm in the X output, I remapped it so when this goes up, this goes down, and you can see that when I look up, it's up. When I go down and down, left, right, 
So making that change and inversion made it a lot better. So I'm gonna try playing to see if that makes it improve my gameplay here. I, I highly doubt it, but we will, we will try. So again, this is the tutorial. I hope you found this helpful. Um, this is a lot, a cheaper method than buying an Xbox 360 controller to hook up to your Windows PC machine. Um, if you have these generic uh, game pads around for other consoles, so like for, P for a PS4, and I actually was able to use a PS4 controller as well. Uh, this is a cheaper alternative, right? Than, than having to go buy a whole new controller just for Windows. All right, so that's it. It looks like it's working. Hope you found this video helpful. Please remember to like and subscribe. So thank you for watching. I'm gonna go kill some bad guys.